just in the shoe department of Le Bon Marché, I've pinched my husband's phone because I ran out of battery. Just want to show you the shoe, it's more for the architecture than the actual brands. Just showing you the absolutely beautiful ceiling in Le Bon Marché. I will show you very, very quickly, I'll do a quick, 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 quick tour. Um, I'll see if anything in particular grabs my attention. Clunky shoes are very in fashion. Again, oh, there's that Suzanne again. She's ever so popular, like I said earlier. These are popular as well, but my thing. To show you all the brands. Jerome Rufus. That way, if you see anything you like, you can just look online. I'll give you the drawings to snippets. Of course, Stella McCartney is very popular, very, very expensive. Off white, off white, very expensive. Very, very high end brands here. Uh, Michelle Vivier. This is that Claire Jarry. People talk about People talk about these very high compon you know, these very high compensé shoes. And these are like very nice, those be true sliders. <laughs> and these are like these are like crocheted shoes. It's like they've been knitted, knitted shoes. And the clip, this uh, this brand is very famous for this kind of heel. It's their standard practice. It's that kind of very built-up, clunky shoes. You can afford them. You see. And that's the brand that Claire Jolie. Merci beaucoup. Yes, they've got beautiful shoes, but they are quite expensive, aren't they? So they've got those built up. Very nice. These crocheted ones are very, very nice. They'll be several hundred euros then. And then you've got Carrère. It's less interesting to me, anyway. Stuart White's man. Just trying to see the design. Oh, it looks like the cafe's open, that's interesting. Oh, it's just takeaway. That's right, you're not allowed to open the cafes, but you, take, you can have takeaway. So there's the cafe, we used to always come here on a Sunday. We come here on a Sunday, we have a coffee in the Bon Marché. You see the Bon Marché through the window, the sign of the store. But they only can have takeaway items. This is famous, the Rose Bakery. These look, you know me, the pistachios little bits of pistachio cakes. It's a beautiful, beautiful cafe, but they've just got the takeaway, there's no point. To show you some of the architecture here. Um, do you think there's any other nice brands? Oh, you know me and my Repetto. You know I go on about Repetto. I don't like the ballerinas, just so it's clear. I don't like the ballet shoes, it's not my thing. What I do like are the bags and the story of the ballet dancers. That's what I like, the history of the brand. But a lot of people do like the ballerinas and there's some gold boots but the history of the brand is these real dance shoes if you want to know the history of things just look that up online repetto it's beautiful it's a lovely brand that's a different brand it doesn't seem to be a problem in terms of social distancing and space it feels like there's plenty of space around she's got the gloves on See if there's any other brands that really take my fancy. Oh, I'll do the Balenciagas because they're very, very popular. Je vais juste faire les Balenciagas. It's not my thing, but they're very, very popular. They've got these psychedelic colours. Those like open toned things. Again, it's not my thing, but they've made a massive name for themselves with these. These ones, these are the ones that everyone's got, they cost an arm and a leg. They've got mini ones. And you see lots of children, like, don't look at the price. There'll be hundreds of pounds just for the children. They've gone mad with this stuff. They've got pink floor ones. Some of you will be like salivating with these. It's not my thing at all. About 650 euros, I think, for those ones. And this is also very Tom Dance. This, this is also Balenciaga. These funny square front things. Again, they're not my thing, but they're very popular. 
gonna cut off because it gets too long. 